hey, thanks so much for coming back for group three um, of our Eurovision 2020 song contest that we're just having on our own just because we can, because they didn't have it. Um, just to remind you of the format. So uh, there's only five countries in this group. Um, after this, we'll be halfway done with the groups. Uh, in this order, uh, Switzerland, Israel, Ireland, Azerbaijan, and Croatia are all in group three. We're going to start with the first country up, which is Switzerland. And it looks like it's uh, the group or the person is John's Tears. I hope I'm saying John's name right. And the song is Répondez-moi. Okay, so it's in French. Respond to me. Answer me. Um, let's let's see what's going on. Switzerland. Let's go, Switzerland. Pourquoi la pluie et les nuages aussi et les nuages aussi. Pourquoi le soir tu t'endors dans mon lit tu t'endors dans mon lit ah pourquoi on dort si loin de la famille dans un autre pays ah pourquoi la mort vient après la vie vient après la vie je t'aime l'angoisse Goosebumps. What? Sans jamais s'arrêter. Chacun de son côté, chacun de son côté. Ah, pourquoi je suis ici étranger, là-bas étranger? Ah, pourquoi mon fils grandira sans été, grandira sans été? Je donne ma langue au chat Répondez Switzerland. Um, like, I, I think that's the first one that I've actually gotten goosebumps from. I could be wrong about that because I, I, so long ago that I reacted to the Big Five and the host that I'm not completely sure. But first of all, uh, that's what happens when everything is right. When the vocalist is is right. When the song is right. When the lyrics are right. When the visuals are right like that's how you do it that's how it's done switzerland um you showed all of us around the world um you know how a eurovision entry should be crafted how it should be presented um and the care with which it should be delivered those vocals i, I mean oh again we were robbed of not getting a lot you know to hear that live like Oh, please tell me that this person or the group is coming back in 2021. Just, please. Um, Switzerland, I don't even, I, I don't have anything else to say, but thank you. Um, that, it, that was the most beautiful um, 
entry that I've heard from this batch of Eurovision songs for 2020, but one of the most beautiful and profound that I've heard um, from any of the Eurovisions that I've that I've heard songs from. So I'm gonna stop at that because I'm kind of running out of words here uh, to describe how amazing that was. So. Uh, Merci beaucoup, Switzerland, and uh, peace. Hey, second up in group two. I'm sorry, this is group three. We've already done group two. Um, second up in group two. I just said it again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, second up in group three. Let's make sure that we at least say it once correctly. Um, is Israel. Yay, Israel. Um, okay, you're sending an artist. It looks like the name is Eden or Ed, Eden uh, Elaine or Elaine. I'm not sure. The song is uh, Faker Libby. I have no idea if I said that right or not. Um, but I, I, I've loved what you've sent these past few years. So let's see what you were planning on sending to 2020. Let's go, Israel. Israel, I mean, I want to say th what's happening with this group. I want to say thank you to you as well because you also did what Eurovision is all about, where you sent someone who, yes, um, was able, you know, half or more of that song was um, was n not in English. Uh, it was in Hebrew, but. Um, it wasn't just that, it's that you sent someone who had such a unique sound, like that almost kind of reminded me of Malta from last year, because it's like a country I wasn't expecting to give me island vibes, but I'm getting island vibes and I'm okay with it, I'm here for it, I don't know if we're in, you know, Antigua or Israel or, you know, Senegal or um, Tel Aviv, but um, I, I, I loved, you know, how it built, how it worked in the traditional sort of instrumentation from your culture because that's what you should do at Eurovision as well um and I, I mean she would oh I really hope that she's going to be competing for y'all because what a bright spot she was like and, and I'm pretty sure that no matter where she would have been in the order people were probably going to remember that and people were going to vote for it because there I mean was there anything unlikable I didn't find anything <laughs> her vocals were on point you know the song was so diverse and how it was structured and how you know it, it might have even been been in like three or four languages now that i'm actually thinking back on it how many languages was that in hmm i don't know i'll have to check that out but israel um i love that peace the country that is next up who is going third in group three because we're in group three now um is actually ireland you're up ireland um, Leslie Roy is the artist, Story of My Life is a song. You know, I was not a fan of what you sent last year and I tried to say all along, I was like, this is like, th like, th what? Like, y'all can, uh, Ireland, like, I respect y'all so much. What? Like, you should have sent the junior, the junior Eurovision girl from last year, um, would have been, a better option. Okay, sorry, I'll stop now. So let's um let's go Ireland.
much better than last year. So much better. better than last year and my I don't want to talk about last year anymore but I want you to understand where I was coming from with last year and I can't even remember the name or the song it, it was very like show up pop pop sounding but it it was just kind of dead like it was kind of like nothing happening at all um that was completely different now did it have similar sounds to what's you know uh, popular on radio stations now yeah it sounded like since you've been gone it sounded like a lot of pink songs and um those are aren't those all like max martin uh yeah so really they're not american pop songs they're technically swedish right you are gonna kill me if i have that wrong um but i love the message of the song that's what eurovision is about it's about having a song that even if it's fun like that it still says something important um to every single person who's watching it who may not ever feel respected or appreciated or acknowledged in the country that they come from, but for a split second on the Eurovision stage, they see, hey, there's someone else like me out there somewhere in the world. Like, I'm not alone. I can get through this. And even though it was fun, I, I still took that message away from it. And that's important because that's what you didn't have last year was any kind of message for me. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it, Ireland, except I, I like it. I hope that we're back on good terms. It's just very hit or miss for, for me with you. And I, honestly, I feel like that's how it should be. If I was always saying only positive things about some countries and only negative things about others, then, um, you know, I, I would not be completely objective or real or honest with you. So when I don't like you, Ireland, it, it, when I say that I don't like the song you're sending like last year, it's because I actually love you. And I want you to send something so much better than that. And you did. So thank you. Um, all right. Peace. Hey, next up in group three, our fourth country, um, Azerbaijan. The stage is yours. Um, the artist or the band is Effendi and the song or is Cleopatra or maybe the other way around. I'm not sure. Um, Azerbaijan's flag is my favorite flag out of all of the flags in Eurovision, I think. I, I don't know. I just love it. I love the colors of your flag. Um, that has absolutely nothing to do with this. Why did I say that? Okay. All right, let's go, Azerbaijan. Whoa. Cleopatra was a queen like me, just like me, just like me. Straight or gay or in between, between, in between.
like this. Again, we've been robbed of what would have been another epic staging because you know Aisha Prashan knows how to stage a performance. Come on. Um, look, I didn't know what was happening that whole time. Um, and I, I'm, I was completely here for that. Um, I was, you know, confused. Um, I was thrown off by all the different things that happened, especially before, during, and after the chorus. And I don't mean the verses. I mean, like, the chorus itself. Um, it, it was so different from anything I've heard so far from 2020 um and I I kind of brave uh for, you know to put out a, a song like that where if you actually listen to the lyrics I mean it was very honest about you know who and what Cleopatra was um and she was comparing herself to that with absolutely no shame which is how we should live um you know if that's who you are if that's how you are then that's how you are uh her vocals were great uh, I suppose Sean doesn't struggle with that. Well, okay, um, for the most part. Um, but I, 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 yeah, I, that would not have a problem advancing, I don't think, uh, into the semifinal. So let me know if, um, if she's going for I suppose Sean. I know she, you know, Cleopatra's not going, but um, what if it would have been like Cleopatra coming at you? Y'all remember them? Anyway, off topic. Can we talk about the visuals for just a second? And like, that, Isaac Prashan spent a lot of money on that video. Hello. Um, the costumes, like the sets, the fact that it was shot in both daytime and nighttime completely separately. <laughs> like, okay, Isaac Prashan. Okay. All right. I see you. Noted. Um, and I, like I said, I didn't know what was happening, but I was here for every single second of that song. So, um, yeah, peace, Aisha Prashan. All right, this is our last country. It's the fifth one in group three. This is going to close it out. I'm already getting excessively nervous over having to choose the one that I like the best from this group. Um, hopefully, Croatia will give me something com you know completely different to have to think about. Um, the artist is Damir Kenzo and the song is The Village Vjerta. I have no idea. Croatia, I'm so sorry. Probably, I probably butchered that completely. All right, let's go Croatia. Last country to perform in group three. Jednom kad zaboraviš mi ime i krevet hladan postane Ekom okovane zime Ništa ne preostane 
Ja ću te voljeti tak Divlji vjetre U tišini ostavi me gdje sam e, Sad prostaje Odlazi i pusti me da ne znam Kako čovjek postaje Now? Ono što nisi više Croatia. Was it anything, you know, completely shocking? No, it, it was like what Croatia sends, you know, in, in other years. And and I I, I, I love what Croatia sends. Like, I'm, I'm here for that. I'm here for the native languages. I'm here for, I mean, him deciding to have five all-female backing vocalists as a male vocalist. That is not, and it wasn't like he, he was like a super high tenor. Like, that was, that was a choice that he made. And it was a good one. And another reason why I still think the backing vocals have to be live at Eurovision. I know, you know, coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. But come on, we need live vocals. We just need live vocals. That's what that reminded me. And that's an important lesson to take away. Um, I mean, he could sing. That was obvious. Um, it's just that like Croatia has, has like endless amounts of like super, um, super talented male singers um like share the wealth you know um that's good though all right i'm gonna say peace to you croatia um and let me know if he's gonna still represent croatia in uh 2021 or not peace uh, why did i decide that this was gonna be part of this now where i have to pick one from every group okay so group three we had switzerland Israel, Ireland, Azerbaijan, Croatia. Um, remember that at least three of these, out of these five, possibly four, are going to go on to the semifinal. So um, I, I have to go with the one that gave me goosebumps. I mean, I, I really don't have to think about this one super hard. Um, it's going to go to Switzerland for me. So um, you get my automatic pass into the semifinals, you probably would have gotten it from the public anyway. Um, but you need to go on, you know, for 24 hours after this video has been posted into the community section of my page. Um, vote for, you know, which other country or countries you liked. Um, because definitely two of them, the top two, are, are going to move on to the semifinals. That was group three. Um, I, I love all of them so much, I hate picking, but I didn't feel anything like I felt 
from Switzerland. Um, anywhere else in that group. So, yeah, congrats, Switzerland. Um, and remember to go on and vote for the other countries that you want to go from this group into the semifinals. Peace. Group three.